In Windows 10 Hyper-V, sometimes you want to make a change to your server and you're not sure if that change is going to break something. So you want to create a checkpoint. Now this previously was called a snapshot and in other versions such as VirtualBox and VMware, it still is called a snapshot. But Microsoft changed the terminology of it for some reason just to be different. So uh, what you need to do is just right click on your virtual machine and choose checkpoint. Now watch what happens in the middle of the screen here as soon as you create a checkpoint. We can see that the, protect, uh, the checkpoint was created and now you can see the checkpoint itself here on your server. So if after making changes your virtual machine is no longer bootable, it doesn't run the way it used to, then all you need to do is to restore from that checkpoint. So you can choose right click on it and you can choose you can choose to apply that previous checkpoint and then it'll take you back to that previous uh, point in time. You can also create a second checkpoint. So if we right click and we check, uh, click checkpoint again, then it will do a checkpoint from this new location. So we click OK. And so now we have two checkpoints. We have the one we just created earlier and then we have the one we created after that. So what you can do is go back to multiple points in time. Now this isn't a great idea to do this permanently. And the reason is, is because it creates these external files that are separate from the server itself. So this is where we keep our server. It's on our desktop in a folder called uh, server 2016. And if we click on snapshots, which of course they still call snapshots in the folder, uh, we can see that this, there's our snapshots. So what's going to happen is, is every change that we make to the server is going to be saved to the snapshot or checkpoint in this case. It's not going to be saved to the virtual machine. And then when you're all done having these checkpoints and you decide to delete them, what happens is, is it merges them together with the uh, original hard drive that you've created for your virtual machine. So what can happen is, is if your checkpoint slash snapshot files become corrupt or they fill up your external hard drive, uh, then you may run out of space and you won't be able to run either your virtual machine or your host computer at all. So checkpoints are really only good for if you're about to make a change, such as a Windows, a big Windows update, or you're about to make a change you're unsure of. And then when you're done, you want to delete those checkpoints. So what you do is you right click on the checkpoints and you choose delete checkpoint subtree if you want to do all of them or just delete the one checkpoint if you want to get rid of them, uh, rid of the, just the one. So I'm going to delete the whole tree, click delete, and we watch the status. See, it says merging in, merge in progress. So it merged those files together with the main virtual machine hard drive. Now that happened really quickly. If you let that checkpoint build up over a week or two or uh, God forbid months or years, it could take days for it to finish merging. Now let's go back to our folder where our snapshots were. And we see, look at that, the snapshot folder is now empty because it merged with our main virtual machine. So that's how you create a checkpoint and how you restore and delete a checkpoint in Windows 10 Hyper-V.